Alex Tabney from MyWPPro.com. Today we're talking about fixing duplicate content in WordPress. So first of all, duplicate content is where content appears in more than one place on the World Wide Web. If you copy an article from one website and place it on another without having a link of attribution indicating that this is a copy of someone else's content, Google will see this as duplicate content. And generally, it will only use whichever version it feels is more authoritative. That'll generally be the original. So for example, if you copy someone else's website and all their content, your website that has been copied from someone else will probably not be indexed and people will not be able to find it in the Google search engine. That's pretty much what you would expect Google to do. But what we're talking about is duplicate content on your own website. Not copied from anywhere else, but just by using WordPress out of the box, it's automatically creating duplicate content and you may not even realize it. Duplicate content is a real problem because um, Google doesn't like it and it's generally going to disregard it or only accept one copy of it as being legitimate, new, unique content. So let's take an example of a, a test website I set up and let me show you how out of the box WordPress is creating crazy amounts of duplicate content by default. So I created a test website with a few pages, copied a few articles from Wikipedia, which is uh, not, not the point that we're making duplicate content of Wikipedia, I'm just talking about the internal content of this site. So here's one page that I posted about Dalmatians. This is actually the front page of this website. The front page is designed to show the latest post. And so here's an article about Dalmatians. Here's one copy of this article right here on the front page. Copy the URL. Okay. Now if I click on the post itself, or I could have clicked on the title of the article, it's going to take me to the actual post itself. It's a different URL up here. Make a copy of that. And the point here is this is exactly the same content as we saw on the front page of our website. Here's the first paragraph about Dalmatians. I go back to the front page of the website. Here's the exact same paragraph again. Gets worse. Let's come down to our date archive. Look at that. Same paragraph. New URL. Okay, still worse. Category, latest post, here's our paragraph. Okay, now there might be other content down here on the category archive as well. My other dog article, for example. So it's not exactly the same as the Dalmatian page, which only has the Dalmatian article, but the actual content of the article is duplicated completely on that category page. Okay. So hopefully you see that point. If you use tags, it gets even worse. I created a dog tag. <clears throat> okay, yet another URL, same exact article. Okay, and I created a tag called spots, since we have a spotted dog here. Again, same article, new URL. Okay, if I had other tags that this article was tagged with, then I'd have yet another tag archive that would have the exact same problem. So, one article, I only created one piece of content here and 
we collected one, two, three, four, five, six different pages that have the exact same content. So when Google comes to crawl my website and takes a look, it's going to find the same article in five different places on my website. Probably it will pick just one page and index it. And it's going to decide which of these pages is the best page. It's not necessarily going to be the page that I want to be indexed, which is, of course, the article itself. Often, it will choose a date archive, or a category archive, or a tag archive. And it's at least great that your page got indexed, but this isn't the page you really want people to land on when they're searching for Dalmatians. Because there's other articles here, and it's just not really where you wanted them to go. You wanted them to go to your article itself. Now, it may not be so important when people are just searching for dogs, but if these are your products, you want somebody to land on your product page and not just a category archive or a tag archive or um, simply the wrong page of your website. You want them to go to that primary page that your content is on. And there's the basic problem with duplicate content. Google doesn't like it, and out of the box, in this case, WordPress is generating all these pages that have the exact same content. So that's what WordPress does wrong. Solving the problem is there's a variety of approaches. The easiest way to do this if you really don't want to get your hands dirty, for one thing, don't use tags. There's two pages that will be um, reducing the amount of duplicate content on your website automatically. And tag pages don't really add much value to most websites. If you're using them in some interesting and novel way, then um, maybe they do have some value. Generally, a category is going to be more suitable and create less duplicate content. So turning tags off, not creating them in the first place, is probably the good, a good starting point. But to fix these other problems, is a little bit uh, more complicated unless we use a plugin to solve the problem. If I go to the back end of my website, go to plugins, add new, just do a search for Yoast SEO, Y-O-A-S-T SEO, WordPress SEO by Yoast. Click install now. Activate the plugin. Okay. Now we have a whole new menu here, on the top and also on the side. Many options in this plugin. It's really a great plugin that does a lot of things. And we're just interested in one little part of it. It's under Titles and Meta. Oh, it's just been updated. Let's try that again. Titles and Meta. If we go to Taxometries, we can choose to have categories, no index, follow. So that means that these category archives that we were just looking at will exist on our website, but it's going to add a meta tag, which will tell Google, no index, do not index this page, but follow it. Take a look at what's on the content, follow its links. It has legitimate information, it's just that this is not a page that I want you to index in my website do the same thing for tags. No index, follow. It may seem like a bad thing removing pages from Google's index of your website, 
but when it comes to duplicate content, that's far more important. We don't want these pages indexed. Save changes. Um, and their archives, author archive. Um, generally, these pages should be no indexed, um, but you may also want to disable them. If you're a single author on the website, there's really no reason to have an archive of your work because the whole site is about your work. If you have multiple authors and um, different content is attributed to different authors, um, you may want to leave this enabled. It's, it's really up to you. And here, date archives is no indexed, followed by default. Click save and now categories and tags are no indexed, author archive and date archive also no indexed. We go back and look at our URL list, category, this page right here will not be indexed, date archive will not be indexed, tag archives will not be indexed, and now we have simply the front page of the website since we're showing our latest post. As we post new content, of course, that's going to no longer be duplicate content. So it's tolerable and it's just a practical thing to do. You may want to create a static front page so you don't even have this problem, but it's really more of a usability um, decision rather than a duplicate content one. And we'll have the article itself, of course, which will be indexed. So we've really solved most of the duplicate content, and we've solved all of it that we would like to solve. And we can go and take a look and see what this plugin actually did for us on our website. Uh, we've made these changes. If we look at the page itself, okay, this is the one we want to be indexed. This is our real content page. If we go to our category, archive, if we take a look at the source for this page, um, somewhere up here in the head we're going to have a meta uh, tag. with our no index. Meta name, robots, content, no index, follow. That is the tag which is causing our category page that this is that was this was on to be no indexed. It's telling Google, which is the robots coming to visit on our page, please don't index this page but follow the content. Take a look at the links, look at the uh, and um, but don't include this in the index. And that's all you need to do. Just install that simple plugin and choose to have those pages no indexed and the problem is mainly solved. We still do have that small issue of duplicate content on the front page and the article page itself but um, it's really not going to be a problem there. When you have five or six copies of the same article in date archives, category archives, tag archives, that's really where you're looking at trouble. So I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. It's really a simple problem to take care of and it will affect your search engine rankings. If, it's a, if you have a major duplicate content problem on your website, it could be a significant problem. If you've looked in the search engine results for your website and you see that it's sending visitors to a category archive or a date archive instead of your articles, um, this will solve it. If those pages are already indexed, it may take some time for Google to catch up with the changes that you made, but generally after a month or two, maybe even after a few days, um, you will see a change.